Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be going over each and every one of the new moments cards that did get released today, including Pink Diamond LeBron. So we're going to be talking about how does this Pink Diamond compare to the Opal LeBron or the other Pink Diamond LeBron. We're going to be breaking that all down today, uh, including two rewards in this uh, kind of update as well. But before we dive any deeper, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. So starting off here with Amethyst Norman Powell, obviously he is a moment reward, probably will be a locker coach. 6'4", 6'11", wingspan. That's a crazy player model right there, 215 pounds. So this player build's probably going to be very, very solid. Hot spots from everywhere besides that left hash. 89 three ball, 90 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 84 three ball, 88 speed acceleration, as well as an 86 lateral quickness. Now, he does come with range extender on gold, no steady shooter, Hall of Fame slippery off ball, gold showtime, no showtime dunks, but I mean, it, it, remember, he's a kind of budget type of a card, and defensively, he's amazing. I will say this all right now, before going into any of his stats or any of his, you know, tendencies or sigs, he will be on my no money spent squad account 100%. If he's a locker code, make sure to type him in because he is very, very solid. I don't want to say he's quite to that elite level, but he is very, very solid in 2K. 95 driving dunk tendency, decent enough defensive tendencies, jump shot 32 on normal timing. Now, that's the Nick Anderson release, should be pretty knocked down as well. Dribble saves aren't what you're looking for, but on current gen specifically, he will be just fine. I promise you with the burst in the game with his playmaking badges as well as an incredible shooter, he is going to be just fine and be able to really hold it down at that shooting guard position on if you are kind of balling on a budget. Next card today is Amethyst Toby Harris. Man, he that shot he hit yesterday, that was, that was tough. That was very, very tough. 6'9", six, 6'11", six, wingspan, and just look at the badge count. Compared, compared these badges here to the badges of Norman Powell, and that tells you the whole story. Norman Powell has twice as many badges as Toby. Toby does have hot spots everywhere besides the top of the key. 93 three ball, 70 driving dunk, 82 speed ball, 86 ball handle, 85 speed, 84 lateral quickness. Hall of Fame clutch shooter, it makes sense, but doesn't come with Randy Center, doesn't come with clips. If you pick up Toby Harris and you run with this card, I, I'm speechless. There's no reason at all to run Amethyst Toby Harris. And if you do, I kind of feel bad for you because there is absolutely no reason to run him. Tendency wise, not good. Sigs wise, does have jump shot 70 on quick. It's a good release, but it's not going to save the card from his awful stats and tendencies. Next card today. Another reward card. Now, this is rare. You see a 6'11 high ear with a 6'10 wingspan. Normally, the wingspan is going to be equal or taller. For Sabonis, he is an inch, uh, his wingspan is an inch smaller, which is just kind of weird. Now, he is the moment's rewards. So, I don't, I wonder, I'm going to look at his stats real quick and, and then uh, look. I'll say this if he comes out in a locker code, there, there's just no way he does. Realistically, he might, I, I don't know what he is. He's a moment's reward, but I don't know how he's going to be obtainable because if he comes out in a locker code, we don't know right now, he is going to be a top, there's no way. There's, uh, look, I will I will say it right here. I will be stunned if he's a locker code. That's what I will say. Hot spots from everywhere, 87 three ball, 80 driving dunk. You look at the card, good enough playmaker, 83 speed, 77 lateral quickness. The only thing that's down on him is that perimeter defense. That's really it. Everything else he's got. Shooting wise, Hall of Fame catch and shoot corner specialist, as well as gold, flexible, hot zone hunter, range extender, no steady shooter. Playing wise, bailout, dimer, flash passer, pass fake, maestro, all on Hall of Fame. Defensively, gold interceptor, intimidator, as well as some good interior defensive badges. I'm telling you, if they make this card free, which he's a reward. So I, look, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna hop on my game quick and see if Sabonis is somehow part of the set because I have a hard time thinking he's a locker code. Now you might have to grind a challenge, something like that, to get Sabonis. Maybe you have to use like I don't know a, a card and get a triple double, something like that, to obtain this diamond Sabonis card, which would be fine as well. But if he's free, he's definitely not a bad card to grind for. 90 driving dunk tendency, defensive tendencies aren't good. And they're not what you like to see, but at the end of the day, it is what it is jump shot 10 now we're gonna see what jump shot this is hopefully if it loads 
uh Penny Hardaway's okay it's it's his release now I will say his release isn't very good uh but with his shooting badges and stuff you still should be able to knock down uh shots at a pretty elite level with the card so I'm just gonna go here and look at this set on my console here and so yeah he's not like a he's not like a set reward or anything so um my guess for Sabonis is you're gonna have to grind a challenge and maybe get a triple double with a card something like that uh, but again these are all just guesses and i don't know but if this is if it, if you can get this card for free and you're on a no money spend account for example my no money spend account we'll look and see where sabonis is at and, and if i can grind this card uh out for free look at our next card here rudy gobert and i can already tell you what rudy gobert is going to be and that answer is awful seven foot one seven eight wingspan 21 total badges can't shoot the ball 70 speed 75 lateral quickness this card is awful like there's no reason for me to even spend that much time on the card because he is that bad like if you guys want me to probably tell you guys which card is the worst card in the set it's this guy right here rudy gobert and it's not even close there's nothing i can take away that's positive from rudy he's a good rebounder good interior defender but if you use this card in any sort of a setting outside of grinding challenges for xp i feel bad for you next is pink diamond lebron james a Hall of Fame badges 43 on gold. So the big thing is obviously stat wise 86 three ball, 90 driving dunks, uh, 88 speed ball, 83 ball handle, 94 speed acceleration, as well as a 93 lateral quickness. Defensive stats are exactly the same as this card. Really, the stats are the same as this card. Now, the big thing about this card is look at the badges, right? So if you want to compare the cards, you can't. You cannot compare these two cards because the thing is, this LeBron is so much better and it's not even close. Now, is this LeBron comparable to the Galaxy Opal LeBron? No. So this LeBron is kind of that middle ground, right? You have the Opa LeBron, then you have the old Pink Diamond LeBron. This LeBron is kind of in the middle uh, of both of them. Now, the one thing I will say is this LeBron is closer to the Galaxy Opa LeBron, just with all of the badges he does give you. He's going to be a top defender in the game. Now, obviously, you wish he had some more Hall of Fame defensive badges, stuff like that. But this LeBron is going to be very, very solid. If I use, the, I use this Pink Diamond LeBron, the Possessed Pink Diamond LeBron, uh, for a while and really the only downfall that you guys can maybe say is the fact that his release is bad he does have the normal release timing which i wouldn't say it makes that big of a difference uh normal quick either one it's gonna be kind of hard to green with lebron's release because it is kind of uh broken it's always been that kind of broken release tendency wise pretty good very good uh tendencies all the way through it's just like here's the thing if you can get this lebron for under 200k it's not a bad option now are you going to be able to probably not uh, objectively you're probably not going to be able to get him for that price but if you can it's definitely worth doing because this lebron is very very solid and if you're on next gen this lebron's a top 10 card in the game us I'll, I'll be the first to say that if you're on next gen this lebron is incredible okay he's got that good release defensively he's gonna do his thing has 51 base badge i think eight of them are, hall of fame, are on hall of fame uh 43 of them are on gold i'm telling you next gen this lebron is already going to be incredible now in current gen obviously i still have some drawbacks again doesn't have the pro to escape so yes the galaxy up with lebron is just that much better that is gonna wrap it up for the video today guys the reward cards sabonis so norman power are the two cards i'm the highest on guys like toby harris rudy gobert don't ever touch them and bronze obviously brown he's gonna do his thing but it's gonna be interesting to see where sabotis is at i'm guessing norman powell is just going to be a locker club but but again that lebron james especially on next gen will probably not be bad for his budget again he's gonna be expensive because he is lebron james but drop your comments down below on your thoughts on these players drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man i love you guys and have a blessed day